everyone, this is Matt, and this is another commentary. Um, this I picked an Xbox game, uh, gameplay for because uh, I was just going through my um, gameplay folder actually on my uh, disk drive, hard drive rather, and uh, I noticed that I had a HD PVR folder, and I looked in it and there was quite a lot of random Bad Company 2 footage in there, and I was like looking for a gameplay to use for this commentary, and I thought it'd be fitting actually to use an Xbox gameplay because what I'm going to talk about in this commentary is the fact that I am now pretty much completely making the switch to PC gaming only. Uh, I decided the other week that I'm going to sell my HD PVR and I'm going to sell my Xbox and just play PC games. Not for the fact that PC is better or I'm a PC elitist or anything like that. Just due to the fact that generally, lately, I've been playing a lot of PC games. Uh, my friend Warren's got a PC, my friend James has got a PC, my friend Chris has got a PC. We're all going to get Battlefield 3 on PC. None of us are thinking of getting Battlefield 3 on console. And I'm also, you know, I haven't got a job. I'm going to uh, college slash university again in September in like, you know, 15 days or whatever. And I'm going to be getting student finances from there. So I'm going to be getting money to spend from the college and the government for living purposes but that's only going to be a bit of money and I thought if I sold my Xbox and my HD PVR and all the games I have I'm pretty much looking to get around about 250 quid for the both of those and that 250 quid will be for me to spend on whatever I want if I wanted to get like another heatsink or another hard drive that I could record to or, you know, another game for the PC that I've wanted but I thought, I better not because I haven't got enough money then I'll be able to spend it on that. So I made the decision, and so was my friend James, to sell my Xbox. He's selling his PS3 as well, but he's only selling it to his dad. Uh, and, yep, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't really play on it that often and when I made, like, the switch for a couple of weeks to PC gaming and played Bad Company 2 on the PC and, you know, played the Alpha for Battlefield 3 on the PC I played many other PC games, Team Fortress 2, amazing game, epic fun, and free to play, just in case anybody didn't know. Um, I just thought, you know what, I'm not really using my Xbox, I may as well sell it. That time I was like, uh, there's, you know, there's Halo 4 coming out, there's Gears of War 3, both of those games I'd like to play. I enjoyed the Gears of War 3 beta tremendously, and I really want to play Gears of War 3. But my mum has an Xbox downstairs, and the Kinect, and whatever. So I thought, if I ever want to play an Xbox game, I've only got to rent it from Love Film, which I have an account with, and then just, you know, play on it down there on my mom's Xbox. So I'll still have Xbox Live, but I don't think I'll be playing it pretty much like, you know, I'll be playing it maybe once every few months. So anybody asking me to add them on Xbox Live, I pretty much don't play on Xbox Live anymore. Uh, I just, you know, I actually tried to play it the other day. I went on Bad Company 2 on the Xbox. I just couldn't do it. It was absolutely di ridiculously difficult for me. I've got so used to how responsive the mouse is on Bad Company compared to like the PC, which has well, the the Xbox, which has really like slow movement. So I was like moving really slowly around to try and shoot people, and I was just failing, failing miserably. So yeah, I'm definitely going to make the switch to PC gaming. Definitely for the fact that I mean, the games I want to get this month. Actually, that's going to be you know, I thought. I always think that my commentaries are going to be, you know, 10 minutes of me talking about the switch to PC gaming and selling my Xbox, but by the time I've actually talked about it, I'm kind of like one third into the commentary, so I may as well talk about something else. Um, games I'm going to get this year, and also, if you want to play games with me at any time, the way to add me. Um, most of the time I get my games on Steam. If there's a sale, I usually get whatever games are on sale because, you know, they're a steal if they're like £5 and 75% off. Um, I've got quite a lot of games on Steam actually, not many multiplayer games. I only ever really play Team Fortress 2 and Battlefield Bad Company 2. Um, this is going to change dramatically over the next six months because coming up I'm going to get Red Orchestra 2, which if you don't know about it you should look into it. It's kind of like a Battlefield 3 type World War 2 shooter. Not I'm saying that it is just Battlefield 3 and World War 2. They have got a lot of features that Battlefield 3 has not. So look into that game, it looks amazing. 64 player multiplayer and everything, amazing. Um, I'm also going to be getting Dead Island on the 9th of September. I'm going to be doing some co-op with Warren and James if James actually decides to get it because he's just had to spend £250 
securing a place in his dorm at university, I think. Um, yep, so if you do want, I might do some videos on Dead Island. Not too sure though, because I don't really want to do a full Let's Play. I might just do a few fun videos just for laughs and see how they go down. Um, I'm also going to be getting Battlefield 3 when that comes out on October the 28th. I'm also going to definitely be participating in the beta of Battlefield 3. So if any of you have PC and you're going to be in the beta of Battlefield 3, which is an open beta, I'm not sure what date, DICE have said sometime in September, so I'm definitely going to be involved in that. Um, and all this is not going to be through Steam because Battlefield 3 is not available on Steam. It's kind of annoying, but you know, I've got Origin, I don't really care. I'll probably end up launching Battlefield 3 through Steam, so I'll still have my Steam overlay and friends list so they know I'm playing it. So my Steam name is Matty Rockstar. All one word, M A T T Y R O C K S T E R. Um, that's not my Steam actual name, that's just my login details. You're going to need to add me. But yeah, that's that. What other games am I going to be getting this year? Um, you know, I've got a total mind blank of games which are coming out the rest of this year. I mean, I'm considering, okay? This is a consideration. I'm considering getting Modern Warfare 3. It would have to be for PC because I'm not really console gaming anymore. Um, I've had there's a um, server browser on it, so it might not be that bad. Um, do enjoy card, got a bit stale over the years, changed the battlefield, all that jazz. But I'll give it a try. You know, Activision, money hungry, annoying company, but so are EA sometimes. But I'll give Modern Warfare 3 a try. It really does depend though, because it is going to be £40 on PC, which is a lot more than every other PC game, except for Battlefield 3 and Origin. And I did pre-order it, but I did actually genuinely think Battlefield 3 was worth £40 from the uh, games I've played on the Alpha. And they, they have, DICE have majorly tweaked the game since the Alpha. If you don't know, they've added Comma Rose for the PC, they've tweaked 3D spotting, um, you know, they've added a server browser for consoles. They're doing a lot for the game that the community are asking. DICE, listen to you. If you're willing to be respectful to them when you give the feedback. They're not going to add something if you say, F him, put this in the game, you retards, or I'm not going to buy the game. That's just downright disrespectful, and if you're going to be like that, don't bother getting the game, because I don't want people like you in my game uh, on Battlefield. Um, another issue, actually, aside from the fact that the games I'm getting, totally forgot what games are coming out, so if you're angry with me that I'm not getting a certain game, spam me in the comments. Um, Another thing is the PTFO movement brought on by D-Crew. Uh, very amazing uh, movement for Battlefield players in general. PTFO, if you don't know, stands for Play the Fucking Objective. Uh, this is totally true and really, really needed in the community now that Battlefield is getting a bigger following and a lot of people are joining the Battlefield community and some of them aren't playing the objective. Now, if you're new to the game, it's understandable. I mean, I'm not going to be like angry at you if you're rank zero sitting back with a sniper rifle. Um, the first thing I'd say is I was listening to something, uh, a podcast, I don't know whether it was his video or the two hour long podcast thing he did on the PTFO thing saying that if you do see someone that's not playing the objective and they're really low ranked, then reach out to them, tell them, you know, come on, you need to play the objective. You, we need to win, this is, you know, follow me, we'll stick together and we'll win the match. Don't just call them in names and stuff like that, and then see if they follow you. If not, then just abuse them with smoke grenades and, you know, random trolling purposes. If you see a rank 50 sitting five miles out the map with no line of sight on objectives with a sniper rifle, troll him all you like, throw a C4 at him, throw smoke grenades at, him, he's at his feet, stand in front of his scope, whatever. Um, people need to know that playing the objective is the focus in Battlefield and no matter whether people say let people play the game the way they want another quote by D. Crew Colin which was I found hilariously funny and it's so true is when people say you can play the game how you want it's a game it's for fun it's all well and good but to be honest I totally think that people should play the game it was designed the way it was meant to be played and he said that it's kind of like if you see someone playing football and they're running around on the football pitch with a hockey puck. They're playing it how they want and they they might be having fun, but they look like an idiot and they're not helping anyone out. So people really need to learn that playing the objective is how Battlefield is meant to be played and how Battlefield should be played by everyone. 
everyone would have much more fun, enjoyable games if there wasn't... I mean, I don't mind snipers, by all means. If there's an aggressive recon or a sniper that actually has a line of sight on the objective and he can see exactly, you know, that if, people, if, he, if he's got a line of sight on the C flag, for example, and every time someone goes to cap C, he snipes them, then that's fine. That's, that's defending, you know. But people who are sitting back at the spawn with a sniper rifle, just shooting randomly across the map, trying to get marksman headshots, it's not helping anyone. It's not making you look good. It's not making the team look good. You're probably going to lose. Without a full team effort, the game goes to shit, basically, is what happens. I've played a lot of games on the PC. It's very difficult to win when the other team is actually playing the objective and your team are just dicking around in tanks, etc. It was the same in the Battlefield 3 Alpha. There was a lot of people not playing the objective. And when you try and say, you know, come on guys, play the objective, they just abuse you. People need to learn that it's an objective-based game if they want to go for kills. I mean, there is going to be a team deathmatch mode in Battlefield 3. Honestly, not happy about that decision. Um, I think that a lot of people will just go to team deathmatch and it will leave the objective game modes primarily pretty much empty. Um, it's not sure. I might be wrong. Everyone might start playing objective game modes, but I just don't want to see 6,000 servers on TDM and 400 on Conquest and Rush. You know, I love the objective game modes. I love Battlefield's objective-oriented gameplay. I don't want to play TDM. If I want to play TDM, I'll buy Modern Warfare 3. You know, TDM will be alright, actually. Haven't played it. Can't mention it, really. Can't say what it's about, if it's any good or whatever. But when the game comes out, I'm going to be doing extensive weapon reviews, gameplay reviews, map reviews, and tips and tricks and everything like that that I didn't get to do for Battlefield Bad Company 2 because I wasn't really into the swing of commentaries when it came out. You know, you know I want to do the full weapon reviews, breakdowns, routes, maps, hints and tips and all that stuff. So I'm really looking forward to doing that because it's something I really want to do in the Battlefield game series. Like, you know, weapon reviews and all that, but it's been so done with Battlefield Bad Company 2 that I can't. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the commentary. I hope you enjoyed my massive random waffle about nothingness, and I will see you next time.